So after we have done the growth hormone uh, evaluation, the initial workup, we discuss with you all the results which are available. We look at the bone age x-ray and then based on all those things, we come to the conclusion, maybe this child needs to have a growth hormone stimulation test. Growth hormone stimulation test is done to look at the peaks of growth hormone during a four hour testing. Now, there's a disclaimer here. While growth hormone evaluation is a very difficult process, there are some institutions who do not believe in doing growth hormone stimulation tests. But almost all the insurance companies who are the people who will be paying for the growth hormone therapy, which is really expensive, will be deciding on whether your child gets growth hormone or not. They require this growth hormone stimulation test done in majority of the children. So in our practice, we believe in doing the growth hormone stimulation test, even though it is not totally perfect. Now, how is this test done? After we meet with you with all the results, between you and the physician, we make a decision on uh, whether we are going to go forward with the test. At that point of time, we'll do a letter of medical necessity to do the growth hormone stimulation test and then we'll send it over to the insurance company for an approval. Once it is approved, we will set you up to do the growth hormone stimulation test. In our practice, we do it in a hospital setting where endocrine nurses who are trained to do this conduct the test. Typically, you will come first thing in the morning around 9 o'clock we expect the child not to have any food through the night uh, so that the child is fasting at that point of time. When the child is brought to the hospital, an IV line is placed and then there are two medications which, are, which we use. Um, the, the medications vary a lot of time, but typically we use arginine, which is an amino acid as an IV um, push, which will go into the body through the intravenous line, which we have already placed. Or, uh, and along with that, we give a pill called L-DOPA, which again um, is used to stimulate the growth hormone in the body. These two, we need to do two provocative agents to do the growth hormone stimulation test, otherwise called as the STIM test. So the nurse will place an IV and then give these medications and every half an hour, the child's blood will be drawn to assess the growth hormone level. During this period of time, the child will be watching TV or reading a book or playing with video and you will be along with the child. We'll take about eight samples of blood over a period of four hours. What are the side effects of this test? While we are doing the test, some children can have a little bit of a nausea and some have gone to throwing up. Sometimes there's low blood pressures and dizziness. Many of them are because of the small side effects we can have because of these medications and also because the child has been fasting overnight. But once the test is done, once the child has some food to eat and take some rest, the child should be fine. So you would expect your child to be in the hospital for at least four hours and everything will be over by noon when you can go home, take rest, have lunch, so on and so forth. If you have more questions, of course, you can talk to your physician. In the next slide, the uh, next uh, discussion, we'll be talking about uh, interpreting the results and what do we do next. Thank you.